Hi everyone! I got inspired to make this video um, by Yanni Birdable, which is Nicole on YouTube. I love watching um, local YouTubers like Rowana and Nicole and Arlene and Rosie. I love watching everyone that's local because it encourages me in my shopping addiction. It um, encourages me to finish products and all of these. I love watching foreign um, YouTubers but I love the local ones as well. So today I have an empties video for you all. I just wanted to show you all because I've been saving my beauty trash for about three months in anticipation of making this video. I have a couple of videos lined up for you guys. It's just me building the courage to actually do it. So I'm just going to finish, um, show you guys what I finished and let you know my thoughts on my beauty garbage. On my garbage. <laughs> so the first thing I finished, um, was my Cetaphil antibacterial soap. I have three of these. Um, I usually use one a month. So it's about three months worth and once a month I use it. This um, is really, really good for people with acne prone skin. The antibacterial soap is awesome. I love it. I buy that all the time. Um, the next thing I finished was this Optima Miracle Oil Hair Moisturizer. This is very good for people with curly hair. I usually just mix it with some argan oil in my hands, rub it through my hair and my hair is done. Um, I, re I repurchased this already but it doesn't come in the bottle anymore. It comes in a, a, a little tub. But this is, this is really good. Um, I finished this Glade Hawaiian Breeze Air Freshener. just love having this around the house. Finish this Delan Therapy Liquid Antibacterial Hand Soap. I always buy soaps maybe two a month um, from Pennywise. They, always, they have a lot to choose from, but I somehow always end up buying this one just because it is antibacterial. I don't like the plain soaps, I just feel like they don't clean your hands as well. So finish that. The next thing I finished was I colored my hair, went to a wedding um, in May, and I colored my hair using this 30 dark brown Revlon. I buy two boxes, mix them together in a bowl, and just color my hair. Can't use one, it's not enough for my hair. It's not good, and only $30. Anytime I have to color my hair, I'll buy this. Love this, the price. Finished um, this Kogi toothpaste, Max Fresh, constantly features. Um, I finished this Cetaphil Oil Control Moisturizer, moisturizer Broad Spectrum F, SPF 30. Um, this is really good for during the day. A good day moisturizer. It doesn't break me out because it's formulated for acne prone skin. So really love this. It's a bit pricey but I will repurchase it. Right now I'm using um, a L'Oreal DNI cream and that's really good as well. So I'll repurchase that when my L'Oreal one is finished. So next thing I finished were these um, Secret Scent Expressions deodorant. This is my absolute favorite deodorant. I used to use um, guy ones or men ones before. That was the only thing that would really help. But now this one is my favorite one. I stock up on these all the time when I go to Pennywise. Um, I'm retiring my Real Techniques blending sponge. I've washed it a few times and I just I'm tired of putting this one on my face. I'm just tired of it being dirty and um, I'm retiring these two powder puffs. So I can't wash these or whatever. Um, I use it when I when I put on my foundation. I powder my face with it, pack it on because I have such um, oily skin. And then I take a big fluffy brush and just dust off the excess. Um, next thing I finished was this Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I use during the week. Just because I, I do a lot of um, aqua aerobics, I do it three times a week. So, and I need to shampoo the pool water out of my hair. Can't keep that in your hair. It makes your hair really dry and damaged. I use this during the week. Just because it's not that expensive. So, I constantly repurchase this. On the weekend, I'll use a hair mask and a better shampoo and conditioner and all of that. But that's just during the week. Um, my daughter finishes almonds, chamomile, baby powder. She's not a baby. She's six. But I like putting on. I like putting this on her when she goes to school or when she goes to bed. It smells really nice. Makes her smell like a baby. Um, went on vacation. Went on a little mini vacation to Tobago. I just bought this little Colgate triple action just to keep with me. 
um, finish this set of fill oil control foaming wash. Um, I've grown so accustomed to using the um, soap by itself now that I won't repurchase this, but this is really good. But I would say that is not good enough to use on its own, but the soap for me does the job just fine. Um, the next thing I finished was this Vaseline Spray and Go Moisturizer. I had this for a while, I struggled to finish this because I got so into Bath and Body Works products, it's ridiculous. Um, so, um, this is really nice. But I just won't repurchase it just because I only really like Bath and Body Works. No, I want that Bath and Body Works kick. So I've hauled a ton of stuff. So I might do a haul on that. Um, the next thing I finished was this L'Oreal Paris um, Total Repair Extreme Shampoo and Conditioner. Now this is a better one that I will use on the weekend when I'm doing my hair mask and all of that. This one really, really helped my hair and brought it back from the dead. So my hair was really dry and damaged and all kind of hair. And this conditioner is so thick. And then this one here is kind of, the shampoo is kind of moisturizing. So it helps, it moisturizes your hair instead of stripping it. And then the conditioner is nice and thick, so it puts back. I will constantly repurchase this. Love this. Um, I am retiring this mud foundation. I bought, I purchased this in Starlight. Uh, Maraval, the big one that's in Maraval, is a high-end brand makeup designery. Now, um, I had this in my collection. It's not completely finished, but I hit pan there. You can see there's pan. But when I was collecting all of my makeup and I just started my collection, I had this you new know, sitting there. And because it's a cream product and I've had it for a while, I don't want to take the chance and use this on my face anymore. So I'm retiring that. I'm retiring the sharpener. Doesn't work anymore. Um, I finished this Spectra cotton rounds. This used to come in a red box, it, the, the brand was Spectra. It used to come in a red box and then I got encouraged from everybody else who was holding it that so it was so good and in fact the one in the red box was really good. This one, like they did it over in this cheap little plastic to try to make it cheaper, is terrible. The one in the red box had like stitching and you could rub your face as much times and it would not thread out and stuff but this one is terrible like the pieces of it will be on your face and it just is a mess it will not repurchase this i hated this this one however this daily touch one this one is similar to the one that's in the box i already repurchased one of these and this is fairly really cheap and i believe it's like 8.99 for 80 pieces love this will always repurchase this finished um this concealer is a l'oreal true match in w45 um, this is a really good concealer. I finish it. I can't. It, it looks like there's stuff there, but I can't get um, anything out. It's dry. It's kind of dry, and it kind of burns now that because I've had it for a while. So I'm just getting rid of it. Um, I'm retiring my two favorite mascaras. This is Maybelline The Rocket and L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly. I love these together. It makes a great combination. However, because I've had them for a while, maybe five months, it's starting to get clumpy on my lashes and I don't really like it. It makes my lashes stick together and all of that. Um, I already have backups of these. Love, love these. Um, the next thing I finished was this um now i got encouraged by ruana she always is on project pan and all of that now i've had some bath and body work stuff before but i just didn't want them to finish and whatever but i've hauled a whole a whole new set so i've been encouraged by her to try and finish these this first one is merry marshmallow okay so this was a christmas scent from ages ago maybe three years ago forced myself to finish it i'm so proud that i did Woohoo! thanks ruana for encouraging me so this one is finished. Then I finished this um, Cranberry Twinkle. It's a tiny one that I used to keep in my handbag. Finished. So happy to finish those. Um, and the last bits of stuff that I finished with these baby wipes, these Huggies baby wipes. I buy tons of these. When I go to Pennywise, I stock up my three packs here. Now I have the tubs around my house and I just um keep refilling them like in the bathroom my daughter's room my bedroom i even keep some in my car I just always have and then i have a small one um from my handbag i keep always have wipes in my hand after wipe tables and wipe hands and all these things so those are my empties guys i hope you enjoyed
Um, I have tons of videos to to film. I've had I've had I've been holding like crazy. I went to Mac for my birthday first time I ever went to Mac. Um, I hold a ton of Bath and Body Works stuff. I went it just been multiple trips to a wonderful world, and then I met up with um Ria from Makeup Haven. She has really nice things. So look out for me in future videos, guys. Soon, I promise. Hi, thanks for watching.